in this tutorial we will see a simple search in GetPHP so let us start so I mean uh, I'm going in admin route uh, our admin route was like that and uh, this uh, login system we have did uh, two tutorials ago so now we have a users table I just removed the password from here here we will create a field that called search field and after and a button when we will click on this button according to search keyword we want to see users data so for that I have to create a from first so I'm going in template and in my prefix folder admin and there is a folder called users and I'm opening index.php so this view actually for this index.php so I'm here I'm just creating a simple form here using the CAC PHP from helper. So giving the this keyword and from helper and the create. And I'm just copy and paste it four times, uh, three times. And given here the method called int. This is the this is for the from int. And the third one I'm giving a uh, submit method and it will create a button for us and second one will be control so this control uh, actually for the field so if we if we if we give a field name example key and after save and reload we will see a field and a submit button and if you want to change this key that means uh, field name or level name then you have to just write like this I'm just giving a custom lab field name this that will be like search and after save if you go and reload again you will see something like that so now the next work that we have to do if you just write any keyword in here and after submit we are seeing nothing is happening so I'm just going to mention it that we will send a get request from this form so here at first I'm just typing null that means uh, we will uh, submit this request in the same action in same controller and then here I am just mentioning that the type that means request type will be get then after save if you go and uh, re reload your page and submit your uh, from then you will see that key p 2 cms now in here that means we are not able to see it in our query string so another thing that i think you have noticed if you just give any keyword in here and after submit it actually disappeared from here but you were able to see it in here so we have to keep this uh, uh, value in here so for that i'm going in my field and here i'm giving the value and this value will be this uh, request and then there is a method called get query and this query I am taking the query string key the name of my query string so after save if you go and reload your page again now we will see this query string in here so if you change it and send it you will see this and uh, you are seeing that it's it's not uh, disappearing so next thing that we have to do we have to grab this key uh, in our controller so I'm going in my users controller and this controller will be in a source controller and this admin prefix and there is a users controller so here I'm going to grab this users controller <coughs> yeah, that means query string I'm going to give take a variable key and writing the same thing that we have written in for value this request and then get query so this get query method actually for grab your key query string I'm just giving the key so we are not now actually already grabbed this so if you just uh, uh, exit in here now able to see your key in your controller 
so this is the key so we need to write a simple query now i'm just giving a if condition if uh, this key we are if, if there is a key then we will give this condition else then uh, there is a query like that so else this query variable will hold this uh, a query and uh, i'm just copy and paste this query in here query variable in here and same thing i'm doing in here but in this time i'm using here the find method so that will be this users then the find method and we have to give the all in here and then we will use the where and here i'm just we have to give a array like this and our username or email for example i am the want to search it, i want to search it using username so i'm i'm giving the username and giving the like and uh, giving the arrow and giving the percentage and the variable that will be key then giving period and giving the percentage again so if you save now then i think you have already seen how i have written this the Hi. query query this user find all and where this username like will be this key and this query else this query will be this users that that means you will see all users if there is no any key so now after save if you just reload your page you will see only p2cms data we are seeing in here so if you just remove it uh, and without key we will see all data if we just give dssvd then we will see only dssvd data so next thing that we have to do if you want to search your uh, data or not only by username also or uh, using by email so you can use a or in here so for that I'm just going to tab in here and giving here a or like this and if you use the or then you need a another array in here so I'm just giving this array and giving here a comma and that's then copy this line and paste it in here and in, in this time i'm changing changing it call email so username like this and comma email will be like this you can also take it in separate array but i am just giving it in this one array so now after save if you go and delete your page and if you just uh, give the uh, that's called uh your email address now submit you will see the email address and if you want to see the query i'm just going in my sql log you will see that how it has worked select and there is the where that actually work user and also with the username so this is the today's tutorial how you can create a simple search in PHP. In next tutorial we will see same thing but using uh, in the tech php existing method so let's see the next tutorial well thank you for watching this tutorial